To make your pentagon, you're first going to have to figure out how wide you want your side lengths of your pentagon to be. And you only have two choices. They can either be two inches or three inches wide or long. So I'm going to demo first with a two inch. And when you make this two inch mark on your page, get, come down a little bit and be somewhere in the middle of the page so that you have enough room to draw a length up from that. So I'll start about right here. And I'm just going to go over two inches. And this length does represent the side length of our pentagon, but we're going to have to first draw a rectangle and then a triangle, and that triangle will be used to make the pentagon. It's pretty cool how it all works out, you'll see. So first we have to make a rectangle using this side. The second length of the rectangle has to be one and a half times whatever your side length is. So if this is two, and you can use a calculator if you need to do this um, on your Chromebook calculator, 2 times 1 and a half is 3. So if we go up 3, it'll be there. Now if you chose to do a 3 inch um, side length like this, 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be a 4 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4, then you have to count out or you could also measure out instead of trying to count out those little boxes. Make a nice little mark right there at the halfway point. Follow that little line over. So that you have a rectangle with this uh, ratio of one to one and a half um, for the side lengths. Okay, now inside of these rectangles, and you only have to do one, but I'm demoing with two, you're going to make a triangle. This triangle is called a sublime triangle because it has a certain special ratio and side lengths and angles when you draw it inside of a rectangle with this dimension. And you're going up from the bottom corners to the top middle bottom corners and here you probably want to measure this again find that halfway mark it's right there and here I'm not really measuring I'm just connecting the dots I'm just using the ruler to connect the corner to the tip voila now once you have your sublime triangle, you need to go ahead and cut this out because we're going to use this to form the pentagon shape. And I'm just going to cut out the other guy here. Be especially neat when you cut this one out because you're going to have to trace it several times to get your pentagon. Looking good. One more sign. All right, now on another sheet of paper. This part's a little bit tricky and it may take some kind of moving this pentagon around to get right. But if you take your pentagon and you just, just place it somewhere in the middle of your, or I'm sorry, take your triangle and place it somewhere in the middle of your paper and then just follow your pencil along the edge and trace it out. Just like that. Now if you take it from here and you flip it and you connect the point, the top point of your triangle to the bottom point of one you just traced and the bottom point to the bottom point of your template to the top point of one you just traced and you make sure that it crosses over one of the sides, you're going to have it in the right position. Now there's other positions that look similar to this that aren't right. You know, if it's like that, that's not right. It's got to be like that. And then you can go and trace off those two new sides. And you can switch it over to this side. Just keep rotating it.
and you'll end up with a cool kind of star pattern and with a pentagon with five even sides. Boom. Just like that. When you cut this one out, make sure that you're cutting out only the outside edges. We don't need any of that star stuff in the inside cut out. And make sure these are cut out neat. We went to all this effort to make sure that our sides are perfectly even. And you'll mess all that up if you cut it out sloppy. Beautiful.